Thanks for joining us. Two person canoes glide all over Rice Lake in Mole Lake this time of year with one person steering and the other knocking wild rice off of its stem. Harvesting wild rice has always been an important tradition for the Sakagan Chippewa community, one that dates back to the tribe's formation. It's also a tradition that is passed down in families and remains an important part of the Ojibwe culture. When the fall rolls around in Mole Lake, the weather forecast changes. Oh, look at that, it's raining. Not raining water, but wild rice. This is the ultimate time of the year, right here. Members of the Sakagan Chippewa community spend hours each day on Big Rice Lake in Mole Lake, harvesting wild rice. I can remember my dad telling me that, you know, if it weren't for wild rice, we wouldn't be here. Rice Chief Pete McGeechick III learned how to harvest from his father when he was just seven years old. It's a tradition in his family that has been passed down. Wild rice is a staple for the tribe and always has been. That's why the tribal people settled here is because of the rice bed. It was one of the biggest rice beds in Wisconsin, 365 acres. Pete McGeechick Jr. has been harvesting wild rice for 71 years. He taught his children and passed the title of rice chief down to his son this year. This is the greatest honor that could ever be bestowed upon me. The tribe processes and stores the wild rice and uses it all year long. This year, there will be a lot. This year's harvest has been incredible. The best I've seen in my life, and that's 48 years of picking rice. Right now is peak time for harvesting and showing inexperienced harvesters the tricks of the trade. It's about teaching um, and, and bringing up that next generation. They'll one day take the place of McGeechick in the canoe and continue carrying on the tribe's traditions. Well, this to me is the greatest lake in the world. Tribal and non-tribal members have been harvesting for a few weeks now. They say right now is the best time to harvest.